Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to create a pivot chart from a data table. Here we have a data table consisting of colleges, the states that they belong to, whether the colleges are public or private, and a bunch of other numerical information about these colleges. First, we'll create a pivot chart. Place your cursor anywhere within this table and insert. And uh, so by default, it'll show a pivot table. So just click on this down arrow here and choose a pivot chart instead of a pivot table. And it'll ask you for a cell range. You should verify by clicking this button that your entire table has been selected. And you can choose to place your pivot table and pivot chart in a new worksheet and click OK. And now you have a pivot table uh, template as well as a pivot chart template. So let's get started creating our pivot chart. Let me enlarge this a little bit. Now, what I wish to do is to have states in my axis field. This will be the X axis and public versus private in the legend fields. And finally, I wish to have um, the estimated personal expenses in dollars in the values field. Okay, and you will immediately see a pivot chart such as this. Now, this chart has all the states in our table represented. If I wish to have only a few states, then I can filter it out by clicking on this button here, here and deselect all states and just select a few states. Okay. And here you have a nice pivot chart where you have all the seven states that we selected, um, Alaska through Connecticut. And for each state, we have the legend of public versus private. Public is blue and private is red. What I want to do now is to change this estimate of personal dollars. I want to change this estimate of personal dollars from count to sum. So click on this arrow value field settings and choose sum instead of arrow and click OK. And now you have the actual dollars. And now you can see how in California, the average expenses for private university is around $60,000, whereas the average expenses for public university around is around $35,000. Now, next, I wish to change the format of these numbers. They appear as just plain numbers. I wish to make them into dollars. To do that, again, click this button and uh, value field settings and sum number format, choose accounting and decimal places zero. Okay. Okay. And now you have all these numbers show up in dollars instead of just plain numbers. Next, I wish to change this title here instead of saying sum of estim personal dollars, I wish to say personal uh, or or total cost of attending college. To do that again, click this button, value field settings, and here say cost of attending college dollar. And okay. And you have changed the title. If you want to change the nature of this graph, you can do so. First, let me bring back the menu. Now here, um, make sure that you're, uh, you just click into the pivot chart and uh, go into design and change chart type. You will see this uh, dialog box. In this, we can choose a different type of chart. I'm just going to choose a bar chart. Click OK. And now, your pivot chart appears as a bar chart. Uh, it's vertical instead of horizontal. And uh, sometimes you prefer this sort of format. Okay, the next thing to notice is that this order of the states is, um, you know, Connecticut is at the top and Alaska is at the bottom. If you wish to change this, you can change the sort order by clicking this button here. And uh, so here you can sort by Z to A if you wish. And that changes the order in which these uh, states appear. 
If you wish to add a title to your chart, you can do that by clicking on the chart to make it active. Click on layout and here you can click on chart title and say you want the title displayed above the chart. Click inside and uh, just overwrite on this title. Call it college expenses. And you can move this to suit the format. So that's how you would add a title to your pivot chart. So that's it for now. I hope you found this uh, video useful. Please check out more at codable.com.